Hey everybody, so this is my third week post-op video and I'm also going to talk about uh, testosterone as well. And this is my 11th month on testosterone, so I want to talk a little bit about the changes I've seen too. Um, so three weeks post-op and here's my chest. This last week um, I lost the steri strips off of the incisions and also the the stitches from around the nipple grafts popped off just a day or so ago. And so there's my chest. Um, I don't know how close I can get here. I can take this off. A couple things I've noticed. Um, if you look at the, uh, the incision, it looks a little puckered, but that's from the steri strips. And it's actually starting to, to lessen or to, to flatten out in certain areas, especially where I move a lot. There's, I've got a little, little tiny, maybe dog ear. That'll go away as the swelling goes down. I'm still quite sw swollen under my arms. In fact, at work, I uh, do so much moving around with my arms that I'm really sore and tender underneath my arms by the end of the night. Here's underneath my, my left arm. Um, it's the one that's puckered the most. You can see that it's still kind of really red, but it's not as puckered as it was last week, so it's decreasing when, as it goes down in swelling as well. But then here you can see the puckering. And again, that's just from the steri strips, and that will stretch out, flatten out as the scars heal. Now as far as my nipples go, um, if they look a little shiny, it's because I've got neosporin on them so they don't dry out. And they're a little discolored right in the center still. Most of the, the outer layer has sloughed off. That when they do a nipple graft, the, the outer layer of your nipple actually dies and sloughs off. And because I've got innies, the outer layer still hasn't quite sloughed off all the way in the middle of, of my nipple. So. But you can kind of see where the stitches were. But they're all gone now, and it's, it's healing quite nice. Um, as far as sensation goes, let's see if I can get this back up here. As far as sensation goes, I I can feel the only places that I'm really still not feeling anything is like right in here, and I can I can kind of feel that I'm being touched, but I don't have any major sensation underneath yet, right in here. Over here, I've got it's starting to I can feel that it's really light, but it's more so than on the other side. What's really interesting is that I'm finally getting feeling right around the nipple grafts. Although, if I touch the nipples, I can feel pressure, but I don't really have any sensation. But if I touch right along the outside of the nipple graft, I've got some definite sensation. In, in fact, it's maddening as the nerves regenerate. They, I get twinges and it itches and it tingles and it reacts funny depending on... on uh, how cold I am or what's brushing up against them. I, I discovered I can't wear um, a skin tight t-shirt because it rubs t against my skin too much and it's really really sensitive. But that's my that's what my chest is looking at, like after three weeks. I'm really pleased, amazed at how fast it's, it's healing. Um, so, like I said, this is also my 11th month on testosterone. I'm actually on my third bottle now. I just started my third bottle just while I was out in Florida. And uh, since, the second, uh, since I finished the second bottle, I've gotten a lot more facial hair. I'm a lot rougher. It's not dark. I'm still very blonde. But I've got definite sideburns filling in. Um, I might grow those out here now. But I've got some definite sideburns, and I've got, I'm really rough right through here now. The hair, it's not, you know, quite whisker thickness, but it's coarse, and it's blonde, so it doesn't show up. I can go a couple days without shaving and not look too scraggly. I've got a definite patch of whiskers on my chin, and, and they're thick, and they're mostly blonde with some black thrown in. I've, I've Go, I've gone and grown those out a couple of times. I look like a scraggly adolescent, so I just I shave them off. I don't even want to look at them, not till I can fill it in a little bit better. But um, another thing that I've noticed is 
everywhere that I've had either a steri strip or adhesive that pulled off hair, as that hair is growing back in, I'm getting hair growing back in a lot darker. I did have some chest hair before surgery, especially around my nipples, but since they took they resized those, all of that hair is gone. But I'm getting some really, really dark hairs growing along this scar right here, and I'm starting to get them under here. So that's exciting. I'll have some chest hair that will help hide those up. Um, but from the second bottle of testosterone to the third bottle of testosterone, not, not a whole lot of dramatic changes, just more of the same, you know, it just continues day by day and slowly builds up over time. So, um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is, um, as I sit here <laughs> looking at my chest, is um, a product that Dr. Garamoni gave me, well, uh, that I got from Dr. Garamoni that he recommends to help with the scarring called Scar Guard. It, it comes in a box, looks like this, Scar Guard MD. Um, it comes in a bottle. And uh, if you look at the active ingredients in this, the active ingredients are silicone, 12.75%, and hydrocortisone, 0.55%. And it's a one fluid ounce bottle. So just so you can compare, because you can get this over the counter at you know Rite Aid or Walgreens, but I think it's only a half an ounce, and I'm not sure. I don't think that um, there's it's it's got as much silicone and hydrocortisone in it, but I don't know. That's why I told you how much was in it, so you could compare. Um, it's it goes on like a fingernail polish, like clear fingernail polish. The applicator looks like a fingernail polish applicator and you just paint that straight onto the scar and I just got this in the mail on on Thursday yesterday and I've already put two um, two applications I don't have any on right now I just showered but I, I put an application on about this time yesterday and then last night when I got home from work I peeled off the other the old one and wiped it off with a warm washcloth and I just painted it on and the difference in some, in um, skin quality it was just amazing. It's much softer. It doesn't feel as rough and as bumpy. And I mean, the the uh, puckering has all but disappeared just from this one section alone. And it was puckered yesterday morning. So um, I'm I'm quite impressed with it. I I don't know how long this will last me. I'll keep you updated. But it says you're supposed to apply it twice daily. So that's why I did it twice yesterday. And I'm going to go upstairs and and put some on here before I get dressed and, uh, and then I'll apply it again tonight when I get home from work but I'm really pleased with what it's done so far I've had other surgeries I was I was hit by a car when I was 15 and I did a face plant on some asphalt and I've got lots of keloids from from that accident I wish they had a product like this around back then because I've got some serious keloids on my knees on my wrists um, and had some on the backs of my hands. It took forever for the for my uh, to get regain full uh, range of motion because they healed so poorly. So I was really worried about these scars. Although I I've had a few minor surgeries since then, and I haven't had a problem with the keloids. But I just you know you don't want to risk it. So I, I'm quite pleased with what this scar guard is doing, and I'm definitely going to keep using it. So I'll be showing you next week what it looks like after a week using ScarGuard too. Um, anything else? I can't think of anything else. That's basically all I wanted to talk about today. I hope everybody's doing well and I will see you next week. Take care.